Uzbek scientists are working on introducing new food and feed crops resistant to drought, heat and soil salinity, able to produce good quality seeds. One of these crops, quinoa, was evaluated at the experimental station of Agrarian University of Uzbekistan. Quinoa is a facultative halophyte, one of the oldest crops cultivated in the Andes about 5,000 years. Quinoa seeds are very nutritious, rich in protein and micronutrients. Its seeds may be consumed as human food in flour, baked products, soups, drinks, salads and breakfast cereals. Also, stems and foliage are used as animal feedstock for its higher nutritive value. International Center for Biocell and Agriculture ICBA, in 2015 launched a regional project on testing five quinoa varieties in Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Several demonstration quinoa trials were established under various agroecological zones on land saline soils in Tashkent region, saline clay loamy soils in Sirdaria river basin, on sandy saline soil in central Kizilkum irrigated with low quality water. But our main target was managing lands of Karakal, Pakistan. One of the key components was seed multiplication due to its commercial importance. In Europe, seeds of quinoa as environmentally friendly product are costly. The nutritional value of seeds as food human consumption is determined by its protein quality. The protein content ranges from 10 to 23 percent, which is superior to most cereal grains and has potential to be used as protein concentrates in food industry. Calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, zinc and copper content of seeds are also high making valuable against immune deficit disease, anemia and others. Therefore, we must prepare and train regional farmers for the production of high quality seeds. Different institutions were involved in the implementation of this project in Uzbekistan. Institute of Karakul Sheep Breeding investigated quinoa biomass after seed harvesting as suitable source for feeding of animals. The Institute of Botany studied purely biological features, quality of seeds, seed germination rate, packaging and seed storage. In our university, Dr. Botar Haitev studied the technology of cultivation of quinoa. The process has been very difficult to study. But even so, they have learned term and norm of seed sowing, seed pretreatment before sowing, pest control. Seed multiplication trials were also monitored. However, for including quinoa in the agrarian sector of Uzbekistan, seeds must be of good quality, certified and meet the standards similar to sowing qualities of grain crops. Equipment for seed harvesting and cleaning is crucial. Seeds of quinoa is difficult to clean manually due to large bosch size. Stem height is of more than 1 to 2 meters, the leaves on long stalks. Flowers are collected in dense panicles. Therefore, scholars of Uzbekistan developed the design of threshing machine that greatly facilitates this process. The first prototype of such machine was demonstrated in action during the training seminar at Tashkent Agrarian University. Within this project, Institute of Mechanization and Electrification in Yangobot was engaged to develop a layout of seeds threshing machine for quinoa. It was not an easy task since major seeds similar to other shinne pots and amaranthus are very small. Therefore, it was necessary to set up special nets and mechanisms to not damage the embryo itself that decrease seed viability. As it was demonstrated during the seminar, the machine is working properly and seeds of quinoa were well cleaned. There is a hope such equipment will be of interest for farmers and seed growers. It is cheap and effective local equivalent, which may not allow the import of such machine from abroad. It was also tasked to develop a business plan. How much money was spent on the designing of layout and how this machine produced clean seeds per hour at what purity and quality levels are clean. Researchers from the Institute of Botany is going to check if seed was not damaged during the cleaning process. At laboratory condition, seed germination rate will be controlled. Cleaned seed will be compared with original seed samples to conclude the factors of local seed threshing machine. An action plan will be suggested allowing to developers to finish off the layout design. 
As the researchers note, the seed cleaning machine can also be used to purify the seeds of many small seed agricultural crops, including buckwheat, amaranthus, and legumes. Work on the improvement of seed treatment technology of quinoa, as well as a comprehensive scientific study of this economic valuable crop, will be continued. Based on success of one-year evaluation, we're considering upscaling of quinoa into the agriculture system of Central Asian countries, leading to diversification of healthy diet for human consumption, livestock feeding, and to convert marginal lands into an economic value.